All right, guys, China Bombs. Okay, if you've been on any RV forum, any travel trailer forum, I know you've heard it. You've seen people use the term. It's all over Facebook about the China Bomb tires. Um, I was a little bit of a skeptic when I first started seeing these posts because I figured there was no way that manufacturers would use tires that were this terrible on something that's being towed behind a vehicle. Um, so I figured it was maybe a case of people not taking care of the tires, maybe not keeping track of the air pressure in the tires, just being a little bit uh, complacent about their tires. But uh, after it happened to us, luckily ours haven't turned into China bombs, but they're well on their way. Uh, we noticed after a trip here uh, a couple of weeks ago that I was getting some uneven wear um, right along the outside portion. Uh, it was on the front tire on the opposite side, but it was right along in here. I was getting real uneven wear. So I checked the pressure. We went ahead and, and took our trip because it just really it just appeared to be uneven wear. Nothing really that was, uh, um, you know, an emergency situation, but just something that, that I was kind of starting to notice. Um, after return from that trip, I was going to go ahead and pull that tire off and inspect it a little bit better. And when I did, what I found was the uneven wear was only about halfway around the tire. Um, took it down to a tire shop. We spun it up on the balancer, and you could see pretty plain as day that that tire was separated. So um, we got really lucky that it didn't come apart on us. Um, like I said, it wasn't it wasn't anything super obvious. Um, you know, the trailer was still towing okay, but it was just some real uneven wear on the outside. So we switched that tire out. I put our changed our spare out and put it on that side, and. Uh, decided that you know these tires are coming off um, these are the Castle Rock STs they come on a lot of trailers I know Forest River uses them um, you know we, we really don't have any complaints on our trailer at all uh, we love it but um, these tires are uh, they're junk basically you know unfortunately um, some people might have good luck with them but there's been a lot of stories about them and now now we're uh, you know, we're a victim of these, these same tires. I mean, you can look at the tread. Even this tire, you're not going to be able to see it in the video, but when I rub my hand from across the tire, I can feel a distinct hump on the inside of the tire. I mean, it's not really even visible. You, know, you have to put your hand on the tire and feel it. And right in... Right in this section right here, you can feel that tire humped up. So this tire is starting to separate as well. Um, the tread's not bad on it. It doesn't look like it's wearing very unevenly. But you can feel the hump on the inside of that tire. And it's only in one spot. It's from here, about a quarter of the way around to there. You can just feel that, that part humped up. So um, we're going to make the change to the Carlisle uh, Radial Trail HDs. I have some experience with Carlisle tires back on uh, some of our other trailers that we've had in the past, some of our uh, race car trailers and some other pretty heavy, um, heavy trailer usage that we've had. We've got experience with the Carlisles. They're made in China as well. You know, they're not um, they're not a U.S. made tire. They're not a super expensive tire, but I do have experience with them, and from my experience in the past, they've held up good. So um, we're going to give them a shot. We're going to keep a super close eye on them, and uh, we'll definitely report back to you guys. You know how those tires are performing over the Castle Rocks that came factory on the, on the trailer. So we're going to go ahead and get these ripped off and uh, give you guys a look at what the Carlisles look like. Now these tires are uh, right at one year old. We've had the trailer for a year, bought it brand new. You know, I'm not sure how many miles exactly uh, we've towed the trailer, but you know, as you can see, I mean, you can get a good look at the tread here. I mean, the tires, the tread isn't, isn't worn bad at all. I mean, the tread's still excellent, but there's that ridge. I mean, I can, I can feel that hump on the inside, and I know that uh, this thing's just a ticking time bomb, and I think that's that's why a lot of people end up, you know, with damage to the underside of the trailer. I mean, if this thing decides it's going to come apart on you while you're running 60, 65 miles an hour down the highway, um, you know, you're going to shred, shred all this. I mean, that, 
you know, that's just some metal up in there. That's going to shred everything. So, um, like I said, I was skeptical, uh, you know, and I kind of kind of laughed at the term China Bomb because I wasn't a real believer. But uh, after inspecting my own tires now, um, they made a believer out of me. And uh, I would say if you have, you know, if you have these tires on your trailer, uh, at the very least, you should probably at least uh, check them out and look over them very thoroughly before every trip. Run your hand around it. Make sure you don't feel any, you know, any humps where there might be a belt starting to separate. Um, but uh, like I said, we'll get the Carlisle's on and we'll show you what those look like. All right, so we've got our tires all mounted up at the tire shop. Um, this is the tire we went to. Uh, it's the Carlisle Radial Trail HD. Um, it's speed rated up to 81 miles an hour. The uh, Castle Rocks that we pulled off were speed rated to 75. Um, not that we ever go that fast. I don't ever pull this thing over 60, 65 at, at the very most. Um, so we'll get these mounted up and uh, we got a trip coming up a week from now. So I can report back to you guys and let you know how the trailer towed with them on there. Uh, like I said, these are also Chinese tires, but I do have experience with Carlisle's on some other trailers that pulled some pretty heavy loads in the past and, and they did a great job. So uh, we're going to get these mounted up and uh, we'll give them a shot, show you guys what it looks like when they're all done. So there it is. Um, we'll give these babies a shot. I feel a lot better um, about taking a trip on these uh, than I do those Castle Rocks. So we'll we'll get a few trips on them, and uh, and then uh, we'll uh, update the comments below and let you know uh, how the, how the trailer towed and uh, our thoughts on the first trip with these tires. Thanks for watching.